Hey, what's good people? I'm Darius. So yesterday one of my sketches was featured in an art critique video by the artist block and this is a big thing for me because I'm a big fan of John Grimm even though I have only recently discovered his content his works are really dope, masterful crafted and his channel is one of the best of the niche so that's why this could be a really good thing. I'm hyped! For those of you who are not familiar with his stuff I left a link to his channel in the description down below, go check his videos, they're very helpful when it comes to graffiti and beyond, and if you want your art to be critiqued by him, all you have to do is use the hashtag ABCrit on Instagram. This is the sketch that he reviewed, it's from last year, and even though it's not one of my favorites, it's a good example for letter extensions and uh, 3D extensions and tricks like that, which is exactly what we're gonna discuss today. Alright, so what we're gonna be talking about is this type of extension here that goes from the perspective from the 3D for one and the other one would be the little hole here like a, a part has gone missing from, from the 3D and all you left is with this dent here. Okay, so it's really not that big a deal, to be honest. Let's let's draw a letter here. Um, let's say that we have this as a I don't know an S. Sure, why not? So we have our letter here, we really rough sketch, but for the sake of uh, example, you will excuse the roughness of it. So, right, I have my, my extension here, and let's say I want to go ahead and do the 3D, right? Let's pick, you know, like a vanishing point over here, we go with all the lines towards that vanishing point you know, roughly again see we have a tangent here to make things look flat and what I usually do is change the angle of my shape to be in the opposite direction of the direction of my vanishing point so it will be something like this, looks more like it. So, okay, so I have my constructed lines here. The next thing is to stop the perspective, whatever you want, you can go further, you can go even closer to, to the letter. I will stop it like over here, right? What I usually do is pick the top line here and just go a little further with it towards the vanishing point. And then, you know, make it, make it like a separate shape, like this, you know, like there's, a, there's another cube next to, next to my perspective and apply apply the 3D extrusion law you know because every every sketch every piece has its own 3D laws in this case the law is that everything goes to it's more over here somewhere now everything goes towards that this vanishing point and this uh, extension makes no exception right so what you have to keep in mind is that all the lines have to be parallel like this line has to be parallel with um, the line of your shape and this may be curved or has some really complex shapes and this one has to be parallel with the top line. Well, it doesn't has it doesn't have to be. Sorry, <laughs> but it's 
the most correct way you can you can achieve this if you want to have this effect right and as for the hole the dent it it's the same the same principle so keeping in mind that you have the the vanishing point here you just make a section in your in your 3d like this and keeping your lines parallel you know delete this part i mean erase it if you're working on a digital piece then you can delete it and then apply you know the the 3d like that it should connect with this part somewhere over here right and there you have it you can go wild with it you can do round shapes you know if you want to round things up or this is your style or you just want more round shapes here and there you can go ahead and do it like this you can extend your extension something like this and reapply the extrusion of your letter the 3d law of your piece right this one parallel with this one and so on and so forth this is really nice if you master it eventually and it can come in handy when or if you want to try 3d as well 3d is pretty hard but i think this is the way you you can start by um adding this little effects to your 2d shapes all right i hope this made sense to you if you have anything you want to show me if you tried this um, technique on your own sketch then feel free to send me i'd be more than glad to review it for you and give you some more useful tips all right thanks for watching if you want more tips like this make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the bell thumbs up to this video would be awesome and i'll see you guys in the next one peace